Chapter 6 Internet Children, all of you must have attended online classes during the pandemic. When it was not possible for all of you to come out of your houses, well, do you know you could be a part of those classes just because of the internet facility at your homes? So, the internet played a very important role during that time. Not only this, over the time, internet has brought the entire world at our fingertips. So, let's learn about internet in detail in this chapter. What is internet? Internet stands for Interconnected Network. It is the biggest network of computers as it connects millions of computers across the world. It is a storehouse of information. Information is made available on special pages called web pages, which form a website. Each website has a special web address, also called as URL. Computers connected to the internet can easily access the information available on other computers through Internet Service Provider, ISP. Today, the internet is a public, cooperative and self-sustaining facility accessible to millions of people worldwide. So, we can say that internet is the largest network of computers in the world. Uses of internet Nowadays, internet is used by most of the people. It has become a powerful tool in today's world. The different uses of internet are Internet provides information very quickly and helps to search information on any topic. It is used to exchange messages with people around the world via email. Email is an exciting feature of internet. It is the best medium of instant communication. Internet is also used for shopping, banking and reservation. You can purchase or sell the products on internet even while sitting at the home. You can download songs and movies from the internet. It has a wide collection of songs and movies. You can also play online games with people from different parts of the world. Social networking is a service on the internet that enables you to connect with people who share similar personal or professional interest. Online education through e-learning websites has made education easily accessible. All the study materials and information are available to us on internet. Requirements for the internet To connect the computer with internet, you need the following things. A computer system. To use an internet, you must have a computer system. Modem. Modem network card. It is the abbreviation for modulator, demodulator. It is used to connect the computer to the telephone line. The modem can be either internal or external to your computer. Transmission media. Computers are connected through wired or wireless connection to transfer data or information from one computer to another. You can use different types of cables to transmit data in wired connection. Internet connection. Internet connection is provided by different companies called Internet Service Providers, ISPS. ISPS allows you to use internet for a monthly charge. BSNL 
Airtel, Reliance, etc. are some examples of ISPs software. To use internet, a software called web browser is required. A web browser provides all the information regarding text, video, animation, etc. present in the website. How to connect to the internet? To connect to the internet, follow these steps. Switch on the modem. In case of dial-up internet connection, click on the network icon or locate it at the bottom right of your screen. Click network and internet settings. Click on dial-up on the left side. Click on set up a new connection. Click on connect to the internet. Click next. You will be provided with options to connect to the internet. Click on dial up. Next, you will be required to give the information from your internet service provider, ISP. You need to fill up the fields such as dial up phone number, username, password, and connection name. Click create and click close. Important terms related to internet. Before exploring the internet, you must be familiar with the following terms related to internet. Home page. Every website has a main page or first page which appears when you open a website. This page is called home page. It contains a brief description about any website and links of further pages of website. Website. A website is like a book that contains many pages. A website is organized by different companies, organizations like schools, colleges, hospitals, etc. or even an individual can also organize a website web browser a web browser is a software which helps you to open and view the contents stored on the electronic pages of the world wide web www microsoft edge google chrome and mozilla firefox are some web browser software web page an individual page containing information on the world wide web is called a web page the information provided on the web page can be in the form of text pictures or sounds url uniform resource locator every web page or website has its unique address called url this address is also called web address to open any web page or website the url must be given some examples of the web addresses are www.yahoo.com www.google.com etc Surfing the internet Moving from one page to another or from one site to another on the world wide web using links on the page is called net surfing When a website is opened in the web browser the home page of that website appears in the window Home page is just like an index or starting page containing links to other pages of the same website or to other websites when you bring the mouse pointer on these links it turns to a hand shaped arrow clicking left mouse button on that link opens the connected page in the browser window internet safety the internet can be amazing resource for you 
you can literally access the world and get endless information available on the World Wide Web. But if you are not careful at the same time, the internet access can prove to be dangerous for you. Therefore, it is very important to understand how and when you should use the internet. You can use the following safety tips while using the internet. Always work under the guidance of your teacher or parents. Avoid giving information like home address, school name, photograph, etc. through public messaging services such as chats. Do not click on links or URLs that seem to be suspicious. Do not download content without your parents' permission as many sites have viruses that will damage your computer. There is no such thing as private on the internet. You may think it is, but it is not true. People can find anything they want. So be careful. Avoid working for long hours on the internet if not necessary. It may not be good for your health.